Hello. Welcome to Heal Dose. Here is a basic tutorial on the baby food diet, including a brief overview, foods to include and avoid in the diet, as well as some positive and negative aspects. Tracy Anderson, a celebrity trainer and a fitness pioneer, created the baby food diet as an alternative strategy for rapid weight loss, detoxifying, and eliminating bad habits. Despite the fact that there are only a few principles, the most common variation of this diet is consuming 14 jars of baby food every day, combined with a healthy meal of choice. The theory is that, by eating tiny amounts of soft and digestible food throughout the day, you can avoid overeating and cravings. The baby food diet is a fad diet that promises to help you lose weight quickly. By simply portion management and tastabit boredom, substituting multiple jars of baby food for conventional meals will certainly reduce the amount of calories you consume. But, much like a baby, you'll quickly outgrow this diet and begin to gain weight. Fruits and vegetables account for the majority of baby meals, which can help to push out bad foods. Jars of baby food typically contain 15 to 100 calories and are supplemented with a variety of nutrients. Baby foods, vegetables, fruits, whole grains, meat, poultry, fish, eggs, beans, dairy, nuts and seeds and healthy oils are the ideal items to include in this diet. In this diet, you would avoid processed foods, refined grains, sugar, and trans fats. The benefits include the fact that in this diet portion control is easy. This diet is basically low-carb diet. You get results quickly in some cases and you can save time from cooking. Meanwhile, this diet is not sustainable for long terms and very restrictive. You should also consider that you will not get enough calories. The meals are low on protein and other needed nutrients. And for the budget the baby foods can be more expensive than the whole foods. The baby food diet is intended to be a one-time cleanse or reset, rather than a long-term feeding pattern. But, like other cleansing or detox diets, it isn't backed by research and isn't widely approved by health professionals. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you know or suspect that you have a health problem, you should consult a health professional.